Hi, welcome back. Today is a continuation of our previous video. We are supposed now to define the materials and we said this plate will be made of aluminium that has high plasticity and our solid body will be made of a steel that is rigid. The first thing we need to do is just two ways of defining material. You can go to model, then you select keyword. Or you can go to FEM. FEM means finite element method. You go to model part a keyword here. For the keyword, you select all. This if everything is formed, we have all the elements are formed here. You look for MAT. You can see part. We have formed two parts. You can see the number of nodes. 17, 552 nodes available. Therefore, this is where you define everything you need. You have number of elements. Total, if you count this element, you, you get 17,000. Therefore, our main interest is mat, mat for material. Then we need to, to use, we're going to use uh, power low plasticity. We, for, for the power low plasticity, we can be able to define the, the properties of the material of our sheet. Therefore, our sheet will be will have a low will will use low plasticity model, and you select add. We can rename the title aluminium. The first section we will define mass density. The mass density of aluminium is two point seven in negative six. That is uh, kgs per meter per millimeter cubed. Young's modulus of aluminium is approximately 69 GPA gigapascals. Position ratio is 0 0.33 for aluminium. Then we have strength coefficient is usually 0 0.0974 around there. And hardening exponent I will use 0 0.336. Okay. These are the values you can get from internet for the Young's modulus 69 positions ratio. These values are very very important. Okay. For the for the plastic failure strain for element deletion, this is a very important factor. You have to have a precise value here because this is the value that determines the point at which the the plasticity material really starts to deform completely. Therefore, you have to use uh, the value is 0 0.4876. I think I think we are done. Now you can say accept done. This is now defining the material for the base. Now for the ball, you see the ball will be a rigid material. Therefore, add. We need to use a steel that is rigid. Rigid, rigid means it, the material doesn't deform in nature. It never reaches the plasticity. Therefore, for the mass density, it's usually 7.8 E negative 6 for the steel. Young modulus is 200 GPA. Position is 0 0.3. These are the values we need. You don't need these two. You don't need the other values. The first Three, the first four are enough for us. Therefore, you accept done. Okay. Therefore, you can see we have defined power power low plasticity for the aluminium and rigid for the ball. The next step is now to define the shell element. See you in the, my next video where we define the shell. Thank you. Share my video and subscribe.